Okay, everyone, and I'm back, like I said. <laughs> that was super quick. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to get this beautiful, handsome boy ready for the weekend. Uh, so I'm going to put a... And uh, gosh, I, I feel bad because I really have to dig into my clothes and find some fall or winter clothes. Uh, but like I keep saying, guys, the weather here is so hot still. I mean, fall in Florida doesn't mean a thing. Let, let's just put it that way. I mean... When fall starts here and I, you know, see my friends from up north, like, talking about fall and, and the, you know, the crisp air and the trees and the pumpkin and all that, I feel kind of bad. It makes me, makes me miss New England a lot because we don't have that here. Like, it just feels like summer, guys. I mean, uh, it's been very rainy all these last few days, very rainy. Today is a beautiful day so far, thanks God. But it's been pretty bad. Like, I think we're getting some rain from that tropical storm or something so anyways so I gotta really organize first of all I gotta organize my my reborn baby clothes because I have a huge mess I really have to get some like girls clothes you know like wash them and, and put them all organized a little bit because I think it's been so long you know when I took a break you know and I found that I was pregnant with, with a boy and all that I just grab all the, the the girl clothes and put them in big bags and, and they're just there all complete mess. So I really need to organize that and I don't know, it's just a little bit harder now, you know, that now that I think about it, the outfit that I picked for this guy, he's very summer, summer-like. Um, but again, that, that's just how it feels here. So he has this shirt that says little guy here. And his uh, first mommy sent me this with him. And these shorts. Uh, and I found the pussy, of course, because she sent me a bunch of pussies. Thank you so much. And I'm also going to change his diaper here. Look how cute. I love this. Um, let's see. So, let's get started. And I do want to talk about something that... Um, I think it was some of you made a video, I don't know, it kind of made me think about it, I think. Um, and I, okay, I have, I don't know, I don't know if a confession to make or, or how you want to call it, but you know guys, I've been collecting for a few years now. I mean, I started my channel back in May 2014, but I did, I can't be listening that long, by the way. But I started collecting, I think it was like around November of 2013. Isn't that, that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I mean, we're going to start 2018 soon. So, Jesus Christ. Guys. Yeah, it's been a while. So, um, not too long ago, what happened to me was I did have, you know, when you're of feeling down or I don't, I don't know really what it is or it's this urge to go on eBay and, and, and you want a baby you want a reborn so bad and you go to eBay and you know how eBay is right I mean if you've been collecting for a while I've had I found beautiful babies on eBay beautiful okay from artists that maybe I didn't order before but they turn out to be beautiful and I bonded great everything went fine but, you know, and this time I remember to spray it when it's not on him. Yes. <laughs> um, but other times, we can get burned. Now, what happened to me not too long ago was something that, when I think about it, I get mad at myself. Because, again, you know, it's not that I'm new to this whole reborn collecting thing, right? So... I mean, I could have understand that this had happened to me when I first started because you guys know when you start, you get burned. You know, you make mistakes, you get burned. And, but that's okay. I mean, that's, that's part of collecting. I mean, you know, you have to start somewhere and sometimes you do silly things. You go, you get maybe like an impulse buy, you know, like an urge to buy or something and, and and you end up getting a baby that, you know, then it turns out to not be what you wanted. So that can happen to anybody, especially when you start, when you're new. 
But not too long ago, I went on eBay, like I said, and I saw there was this Levi baby. Actually, it was a custom order. It was for like a custom baby. And I knew the price was a little bit too good to be true. I mean, like, I should have known that I couldn't expect, and I didn't change his diaper. Oh my gosh, guys. See? Oh gosh. Okay, I got too much into the topic and I forgot. <laughs> so anyways, so, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So the price sounded, comparing to the other prices that I've seen for Levi's, you know, when I'm talking about kind of high-end Levi's, this price was a little bit too low, in my opinion. So I was like, mm, but I don't know, again, I was... I had this feeling, this urge to buy, like I need a Levi, I need to order a Levi right now or something. So I went ahead and I ordered it. Now the artist was super nice, uh, customer service was great, uh, she finished the baby quickly, everything was okay. But of course, when the baby got home, uh, and I opened him off, off camera, of course, because, again, I kind of was concerned. I, I, I haven't... Maybe I should do, you know, like those people that they get any baby, and even if they're scared, they open it on camera. <laughs> and then you get those, you know, reborn box opening gone bad and gone wrong and stuff like that. But anyways. Um, but I, did, I didn't do that. Do that sorry. I, I opened it off camera. And just like I should have known, he didn't have much detail. Um, but the one thing that, that was, I mean, I don't know. The painting was all right. I mean, it wasn't great, of course, but it was all right. Now, what really gets me, and that's a pet peeve of mine, is I'm sure I asked the artist if, if she sealed the baby's hair from the inside. And I think I mentioned this before. Uh, if a, if I get a reborn and it and it sheds hair, it has red hair and it's shedding hair. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like after a while. I'm talking about like from day one, the day they get home. One of the first things I do when I get a new reborn, if it has red hair, is touch the hair and see if I get any hairs like on my hands. And that's what I did. And I realized that he was shedding. He was shedding, and that's, to me, and I, I talked to Holly, I think, about this. Uh, that's, I don't know how to say it, a big turn-off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's just a big turn-off. Like, the, there are things that I, oh, oh, this is not magnetized. The Oh, my gosh, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, I get another one. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. I found another one with a magnet. Hello, <laughs> he looks so cute, look how cute he looks, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I mean, tell me that, oh my gosh, he's so beautiful, he's so gorgeous, I'm going to be taking a few pictures today, so, like I said, um, so when I get a new reborn in, if they are shedding hair, that's a big turn off for me, now, I should have known better, because of the price I paid, now, it wasn't one of the cheapest, like uh, Levi's on eBay, but I'm just gonna say that for a couple hundred dollars more, I could have gotten a high quality one. Okay, so it wasn't extremely cheap, but I should have expected too much for what I paid. So that was an impulse buy, and I felt kind of bad at, mad at myself the other day because I said, How come? You know, I've been collecting for, for years now. How come do I do these things? You know, like, do, don't I know that, you know... And I'm not going to say you get what you pay for, because sometimes I paid a lot for the and she wasn't as perfect as I thought she would be. Or I paid less, and I actually got a better doll, if you know what I mean. So sometimes, yes, you do get what you pay for, and others not so much. So I got mad at myself and I was like, 
why do I do those things? And, and then, so then I started thinking, you know, what make us have those impulse buys? You know, um, this, like I said, this, this feeling that, oh my gosh, like I need to get a new reborn. Um, and in my case, uh, I think it's similar to, I think it was Susan's babies. She mentioned the other day, she talked about that baby, that articles that she got not too long ago. William, I think it was uh, his name. He's not on the, uh, at her, on her nursery anymore. But, and she said that it was an impulse buy. And, you know, she said something like, if you're having a bad day, if you're feeling depressed or whatever, don't go and like go crazy and buy a baby because, you know, that's when those things happen. Now, it can happen sometimes. Like I said, I've had impulse buys and they were beautiful babies. Um, I remember when I had my miscarriage uh, in September 2015, right after that, like a few days after that, I talked to Michelle from Michelle Country Cradle. She did a lot of babies for me um, on my own collection, beautiful babies. Uh, and by the way, I got a new kit uh, that I'm going to be unboxing one of these days. And I want her to reborn, to reborn that baby for me, but I don't know exactly when that's going to be. But anyway, so I talked to her and she had, I think I was, I'm not sure if I was looking for a Saskia. I don't know if Saskia was out already or maybe some other baby. I don't remember, guys. It was a long time ago. And she said, no, I don't have one of those. She said, but I'm working on this uh, rally kit by um, Marita Winters. And she showed me some pictures. Oh, my goodness, guys. You might remember that was little David. Um, Little David was on my YouTube picture here for like the longest time. I, I just changed the picture to, to Harlow a few days ago. He turned out to be one of my favorite babies. Uh, I, I never even heard about that kid before. It wasn't a popular kid or anything when I got him, but he turned out to be one of my favorite reborns. Uh, he was one of the last ones that I sold and it kind of hurt a little to part with him. He was pretty special to me. Probably because he was the first baby that I got after I had the miscarriage. When I had the miscarriage, I had this strong feeling that it was a boy, what I was going to have. Um, I didn't get to know the, the gender, but I had this strong feeling that it was a boy. And so, I don't know, that little baby was kind of represented the baby that I lost somehow. He was very special to me. I named him after my husband. He was a beautiful, beautiful baby. So, like I said, so see, that was an impulse buy. And it turned out great. <laughs> uh, then, like I said, you know, when I was pregnant, I had to sell my whole collection. And that's a different story. But, um, yeah. So, my question to you is, I don't know. To, for any of you that have been on the hobby for, uh, I'm going to say over a year. A year or more. Uh, do you still get this or she's like to buy a baby? Like, maybe without seeing many pictures or... You just want to get a new reborn and, and you go on eBay and you go and buy it just like that, you know, and then you get it and maybe it's not what you expected. Or like I said, sometimes you get good surprises, you know, I mean, that they turn out to be one of your favorite babies. So I would like to know if I'm the only one, because I felt dumb the other day when I was thinking about it. I was like, Jesus, like... Come on, like I'm not, you know, it's not that I just started collecting. I've been doing this for a long time and I thought these things should happen to me. But then it depends how you see things, how you look at it, guys. Like, then I thought maybe I shouldn't be too hard on myself. You know, we all make mistakes. Uh, big things happen, you know, it just, I don't know. And sometimes emotions get on the way. Emotions make us do things that then we regret. You know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, in this new chapter for me of collecting has been, um, like I said, my playtime, my fun time, my time to distract myself, to have fun. Uh, that's why I really try to stay away from the drama. I know there's drama going on every now and then in the community and stuff. I try to stay away from it because I don't come here to get into drama. I mean, uh, I have enough things like on my real life 
or my life like outside YouTube, you know, to deal with. Um, you know, you know, my son was a preemie and, you know, we're still dealing with a couple issues and things. And, and some of you know, we're a little bit on the limbo, you know, about what's going to happen in the future or like, I don't know, guys, I don't really want to get into that. I'm, I'm waiting to have the doctor appointment with the genetics doctor and see what happens then and, and then you know we have to do testing and then the results are going to take between one and two months so it's going to be a long time I don't like being on this limbo place of not knowing exactly what's going on or what's going to happen but at the same time I know that when the time comes to get the results and if it turns out that he does have a genetic disorder that's going to hit me like a bag of bricks even though I've been doing my research, you know, you can, I used to think that you can be prepared, you can prepare yourself for those kind of news, but I don't think nothing can prepare you completely because, you know, I mean, you can, yes, you can suspect, you can read information and everything, but I think we all do, at least I do, have that hope that is nothing, you know, that it's just pre issues you know preemie babies and preemie babies have no issues at all they just go home and they grow and have no no odds no complications you know when it comes to growing and stuff at all others not so much okay uh, in my case in my son's case he was a preemie and he was also born with some heart defects some mild heart defects so you know those two things together go together and well now we're trying to finally find out, you know, we want to make sure that there's nothing else, you know what I mean, that it's just those issues alone and, and just because he was preemie and stuff and make sure that it's not something else, something genetic going on that is causing that and, you know, in that case we need to be proactive, of course, and, you know, try to help him the most we can as soon as possible, you know, like from as earliest as possible, so... Yeah, but I don't really want to talk about that much. Uh, oh, I do want to tell you, though, that we did have his cardiologist appointment yesterday. And thanks, God, and thank you so much to all, the, all, the, all, all you guys that have been praying and thinking about us. Uh, thank you so, so, so much. The appointment went really well. I mean, you know, uh, yes, he still have has those mild heart defects. I mean, those are not going to go... Those are not going to clear, you know, quickly, like from one appointment to the other. That's going to take time. The ones that clear on their own, the ones that don't clear on their own, we have to monitor them. We're going to have to monitor them for life. You know, uh, he's going to ha have to get checked for life, let's just say. But of course, you know, if things go well, the other he gets and he has no problems, then that means the checkups are going to be every five years. You know what I mean? But right now, this, the first few years are going to be the hardest because he does have to get checked every three, four months, whatever. But now this time, since he was stable again, we don't have to go till April, which is amazing. I told some of you. Uh, that's great. So so that, that means he's the doctor said he's stable. So things haven't gotten worse. And like I said, it's too soon to expect the defects to get fixed or, uh, you know, already, like, just yet. So, um, yeah, but that's, that's good news. I mean, what we don't want to hear is that things get worse. That's what we don't want to hear. Uh, yes, we would like to hear that the, the defects are gone, but like I said, that can take um, a long time. If any of you have kids that were born with heart defects, uh, I would like you. I would like for you to tell me a little bit your experience. I mean, not a, you don't have to give me details or anything like that. But at least I would like to hear if you know uh, if they clear on their own some of them, or if you if your kid had to have surgery because I know that's a possibility. Unfortunately, I don't want him to have surgery, but I know he might or he might not. We don't know. Again, guys, you know the thing of not knowing is something that really affects me. Uh, you know, makes my anxiety go wild a little bit because I'm like, what's going to happen? You know, what's going to be like, I wonder if he's going to need open heart surgery. I wonder if this, I wonder if that. And I, my mind starts running wild, 
you know, and I start imagining things, and I imagine bad things, and, and oh gosh, and that, that's when, you know, <laughs> I go crazy. So, um, yeah, so yeah, guys, uh, and then we had the physical therapy appointment, and that one went well, too, even though she said that, because we still have one session left. Uh, and she said she would like to see him a few times more because he still needs, he's much better than when he started. He's much better, guys, he was, his neck was super stiff. He couldn't, his neck was terrible when we started. And now he has gotten much better, but there's still work to do. He still can improve. You know, there's still a lot of room for improvement. So the, the therapists still want to see him a few more times. So, yeah, so that's another thing. Uh, but the cardiologist appointment, which is the one that I think was concerning me the most after the last appointment that we had, which was kind of scary, uh, that's when they ordered the genetic testing. Uh, yeah, things went pretty well yesterday. It was a busy day, but productive day. So, okay, guys, okay, I'm going to go because, oh my goodness, this video is extremely long. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I would like to come live maybe later uh, and hang out with Lucas, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's Friday. Let's just do something more relaxed. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Baby Sebastian says bye. Bye, aunties. <laughs> bye, guys. Love you.